family? Hey, it's Easter time, and you know what that means. It means hard-boiled eggs. And if you have any fresh eggs from the homestead, you probably have figured out that they are very difficult to peel. If you want to make a bunch of deviled eggs or an egg salad or something like that, um, not so much an egg salad, but deviled eggs or anything where you want the egg to peel nicely and look pretty. And you've probably figured out that um, what you get is an egg full of a bunch of pits and holes. Uh, fresh eggs are not easy to peel. But what I'm going to do today is show you how I've found that you can peel eggs flawlessly almost each and every time. Now these eggs here that you see to the left are fresh eggs. They've been laid within the last day or two, some today, some yesterday. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put a pot of water on to boil. And we're doing that right now. It's just starting to bubble. You don't want to fill the pot more than halfway full. And you don't want to put your eggs in until it's at a roiling, rolling boil. So we will come back as soon as that happens. And we'll go from there. See you in a minute. Okay guys, we're back. You can see that we've got a nice rolling boil going on here. Now here's what you're going to do with your eggs. Uh, right here you'll notice that these eggs have a, this is a good example, has a skinny end and then it has a wide fat end. You're going to take in the end of that fight, fat end, you're going to take one of these push pins um, like goes in a cork board and you're just going to make a hole just punch it straight through the fat end of this egg. You're going to do this to every egg. Alright, then what you're going to do, we're going to get a slotted spoon and you scoop up these eggs and you gently put them inside the boiling water. Sorry about that camera. Just gently put them in there. Okay, there we go. And you're going to probably want to turn that down. Um, you just want to maintain a rolling boil. Um, so we'll go ahead and put a lid on that. And we're going to put the timer on for 15 minutes, no longer. 15 minutes is the maximum time that you want to do it. So we'll put the lid on and we will be back in 15 minutes. Okay guys, while well, your eggs are boiling, you're wanting to get a you're going to want to get a few things ready. Uh, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to fill up a bowl with cold water and you're going to want to get yourself some ice. Uh, the timer just went off on my eggs so I'm going to go ahead and put the ice in the bowl and we're going to go over here and get the eggs. You can see that none of them are broken. There's a little bit of egg that has escaped. Uh, from the hole, but not too much. And just to make a note, I punctured the eggs before I put them in. I didn't show you guys that because I'm trying to do this one-handed. But you're just going to take that same slotted spoon, scoop your eggs out, put them in the ice water. And I don't know why this works, but I have a theory. Um, I think the eggshell stays the same size that it is. And the hard-boiled egg shrinks from the shock of the cold water. So you're going to get those in there. You're going to let them sit for a while. Um, and uh, we're going to let them sit there for just a minute. And then I'll be back to show you how they peel out. See you soon. Okay, guys, we're ready to start peeling the eggs. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to turn the water on. You're going to take that fat end of the egg. You're just going to tap it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, not really, right? Tap the fat end of the egg like that. And you're just going to get a little bit started. Use your fingernail. Just try to pull up that membrane. Just open that up a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to peel it under the water. And you're going to try to get the water in between the shell and the egg itself. Just like this. Just start peeling around. Feel for that membrane. Try to make sure you're underneath it. And 
and just keep working it around. You can feel that membrane. The membrane has a rough feel to it. And if you're underneath the membrane, your egg will feel nice and smooth. Just keep working your way around. Pull that apart. Try to get the water underneath it. And there you go. We did use, lose one little chunk right there. That's because I got impatient. And one thing I forgot to show you is when you tap this egg on the back side, you don't want to smash it. You just want to tap it. And then, actually, I forgot to tell you that you just kind of smash it all over, but just barely. You don't want to break that membrane. Just kind of work it all over the egg and make sure it's good and smashed. You can either, either even take your thumb and smash it, but don't press too hard. That's the key. You don't want to break that membrane. So just press it until you've got pretty much the whole thing fractured. Then go ahead and peel that back side again, that fat end. Try to get the water underneath that membrane. When you crack it all the way around like that, sometimes you can just peel the whole thing off in one swoop like that. Pretty amazing, huh? Just the whole eggshell just comes off. So I'll try to do that again here and see if I can watch the camera and make sure that it's in the shot. Gonna tap that egg. Fracture it all the way around. Just kind of feel around with your thumb for the parts that aren't fractured. There we go. Everything's looking pretty good there. Get it started. Get that water underneath the membrane and just roll it on out. Just like that. Perfect eggs. No holes. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, I can't take credit for this. I saw it somewhere. I don't remember where else I'd give them credit, but I thought I'd share it all with you guys. So happy, happy Easter. Happy Easter egg making. And uh, we'll see you soon. Make sure you like the video and um, subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And we'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to forge your freedom every day. Hey guys, I'm back. Just a little bonus. Hey, you want to make sure that uh, your egg is cooked all the way through and this one is. Um, if it's not cooked all the way through, you might want to let it go for a little longer, but I find that 15 minutes is perfect for me. And you'll notice that it does not have the dark green ring or dark gray ring around the yolk. If you see that dark gray yolk, you know you've cooked it too long. So just a little bonus for you. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. I feel it in my knees. I'm doing what I please. Sing it like this.